project to give them the opportunity to integrate and be part of the local community where they live now. And it's a project where we put them in pairs with a cultural center, someone who works from a cultural center, and together they give uh, workshops for six months on co-creation. And they have to co-create with a group, uh, a project, an art, something, around the theme of home. Mm -hmm. And so this is how we met Rianbo, who did the Homeland's project last year. And now it's his turn to give a workshop to you. Mm -hmm. oh, thank you. Okay. Hello, everybody. Uh, so I prepared this workshop and uh, it's the last of today, so I hope uh, all of us will enjoy it. And uh, I prepared this workshop with the objective of uh, create a space. As you see, there are papers in white. So it's, uh, we have spaces to express ourselves. And that is the main objective, create that space, that environment, and uh, to co-create, as, as Juliet said, is uh, a word very important because, well, uh, I think of the day we have been co-creating, everyone expressing different ideas, different concepts, and we can see different uh, identities, but in a general way, we are creating something together. So uh, this is a concept that I would like to have uh, at the middle of, of, of the exercise. And the second uh, concept is uh, homelands. Uh, as you know, uh, homelands, it, uh, there's a, a question that uh, with uh, a lot of of answers. The question is, uh, what is home for you, for you, for you, for everyone? So I am very sure that if we start to share ideas, we will have uh, several kind of, of concept because it's a huge concept. Maybe uh, for someone, home is a physical place. Maybe. Uh, for another person is uh, the family, sounds, smells, or I don't know, it's, uh, it could be a combination. So that that's is, uh, I think, very interesting about this topic, the homelands, places of belonging. Uh, so, uh, as you said, everyone is linked to something, to a place, or, or I don't know, to but every, every one of us have uh, something behind that, that is always uh, inside inside us and uh, you know it's, it's like a, a seal uh, that, that everyone has so uh, okay with, with the exercise it's uh, divided in three parts so that I will tell is uh, feel free to do what you want. It's not necessary necessary to to create a professional lines or it, it uh, you can do uh, whatever you want. Just having in mind that concept, home. What means for you to be at home? At home? Think I don't know in your family or whatever you want. That, that, that makes you feel at home and I don't know if uh, you will translate or it's okay, I continue? Mm. Yeah, yeah. You continue? Okay. Uh, Sorry about that. Uh, 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 we can uh, do the translation to, to be clear. And in the first part, so in this part, we have two lines of paper. I think we can work in two groups. Maybe we are around 20, I think. Maybe 10 and 10. So the objective, the, the objective is uh, we're going to take a line. You will take uh, a marker. The color you want, uh, it, 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 uh, it's up to you. Then, but I, I don't know. 
Feel free if you want to take off uh, your shoes if you want, but you have to put like this and start to walk backwards, but doing a, a, a line so that you can do the. What came to you when you were drawing? You can uh, write a word. That and then the second part is uh, with a little bit, uh, a bit touch of music. You start to draw again another line, and you have you hear your your word. And feel free do the lines up as you want. You can uh, make uh, shapes or circles, and then go feel free. And in one point of the, of, of this path, you will paste the word or the sentence mm -hmm. and then you continue and when you get here then the last part of the exercise is uh, we will write in the paper what so the last uh, thought mm -hmm. and the last reflection at the end of the exercise and we will have uh, you can express phrases so sentence one word and uh, like that, we will have, uh, in a physical way, the ideas. And also this uh, workshop, uh, it's, uh, I conceive this workshop, trying to link uh, three main things. The first one, uh, the concept of, of home. The second one is uh, try to link uh, the, the graphic expression through the, the lines, and the third concept is the music, because uh, as you know, the music is like an international language, so um, that is basically the, the, the exercise. I don't know if you have any questions, I can repeat any part of, of the exercise. Just uh, to summarize, you start drawing, okay, and then you go back, yeah, 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 like this. Uh, without music, we can be uh, silent to make an ambience of reflection. Yeah. And just, just uh, draw, draw, working. We follow each other, sorry, we yeah. follow each other. Yeah, just uh, uh, leaving a uh, space to, okay. you know, don't press the, the, the wheels okay. behind you. Okay. And uh, when you get here, you take the shoe, you can look at it. And then I
the work? Okay. So, uh, just to finish, uh, I am very happy that because uh, I was looking that uh, some of you, or I can say, uh, all of you were drawing with uh, some very detailed th things. So that means that uh, you you have your space and you um, you get uh, you use very well to express yourself. And uh, also, I can add that this is a good way to you know the shapes uh, behind each color and shape. There's a reflection, a personal reflection, but we have uh, four pieces of art as well that we can hand if, if, if we want. And uh, so I just want to share with you, there's a talking always with the, with the concept of uh, what it means to be at home. I just want to share with you a phrase that uh, came, came uh, out from a participant in the Homelands project that, that I worked with the, the last year. Then she wrote, so I will read it in English and then I will try to translate it in, I don't know if it's Spanish, it's okay. Or, so in English, I have often wondered where is my home? And I could never find an answer to this question. So either is I was with the others, either I was uh, home, but I couldn't make the place welcoming to me. Maybe I will find later a place that I can apply to my home. While waiting, I create a home in me. So in Spanish, it's like uh, siempre me he preguntado a dónde es mi hogar. Eh, nunca he encontrado una respuesta a esta pregunta. Ya sea que estaba en la casa de los demás, ya sea que estaba en el lugar de otra persona, pero yo no podía hacer este lugar para mí. Entonces, eh, es probable, tal vez más tarde, yo encuentre un lugar al que yo pueda llamar hogar. Pero mientras tanto, yo he creado un hogar dentro de mi corazón. So it's a very nice place. Uh, and uh, it's, it's very, very interesting. Uh, and that phrase is very touching because uh, also I can talk uh, about the shoe. I relate the shoe with, uh, of course, walk. And you know, we are walking, everyone in in each uh, path, you know, but at the end, uh, everyone walks, sometimes alone, sometimes together, and uh, that's the meaning of the shoe, because as I, I can read here, immigration, so the shoe is, is uh, you know, the immigration is about walk, and not just walk, like, uh, like uh, how to say it, uh, for Estonia, you know, is uh, a lot of people is walking, trying to find a, a good place. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, so thank you very much and uh, a clap for you.